What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Jazz Tati. Hi to my new subscribers. Welcome back to my old subscribers. You know, thank y'all for tuning in. I appreciate it. I love you guys. Um, I have a, a great word, you know what I'm saying, that I just, a word of encouragement that I just want to put out there to you guys <sighs> because I keep smelling new. The smell of something new, when you just open up a brand new pair of shoes, that smell or when you even step into the shoe store that smell or when you step into a brand new car that smell when you step into a brand new building built from the ground up a brand new house built from the ground up that smell it just the, the aroma of new has just been so heavily around me it just smells so good it smells so new so new so new so new so i'm gonna pray father god I thank you. I praise you. I bless your holy name, Father God. You said, enter your gates with thanksgiving and enter your courts with praise. So I give you thanks, honor, and praise, Father God, for everything that you're doing in our lives, for every viewer that is tuning in, everything that you're doing in their life, Father God. I pray that you just continue to prosper them and continue to have your way in their lives and that you take control of this word, Father God. Take control of my mouth, Holy Spirit. Have your way in me. I make room for you, Holy Spirit. I am yours. I am not my own. So I give you honor. Thanks and praise and I pray that whoever this word is for that they be encouraged father God to know that you're doing a new thing to know that you are in control no matter what is happening around them father God and that you just continue to work things out cover this word under your blood in the name of Jesus I pray amen and it is so so I just can't get enough of this smell it's like whew. okay so today like I said I've been smelling new and honestly, this is like the second time where this heavy smell of new has been on my nostrils, in my nostrils, just been thick, a thick wave of newness. Like I said, a new car, a new house, you know, um, a new building for your business, whatever it is, a new, a new book, you know, when you open the pages of a new book, that smell, new tires, you know, whatever it is that you need, it's new, a new mind, you know what I'm saying? A new heart, anything new, that's what I'm, I'm smelling newness. I'm smelling newness. You know, and so Isaiah 43, verse 19, it says, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? Meaning, you you, you all know? You all know it's not going to spring forth? You better believe it. You better know it. Basically, it's a rhetorical question, meaning you know if I've done it before. And basically, this is Isaiah 43, I encourage you guys to read. It is a beautiful chapter. It is beautiful. It talks about how how much God loves us, you know what I'm saying? Even though we turn against him, how he saved us, how he's going to save us again, how he called us his own. He says, you are mine, you know what I'm saying? You've been bought with a price. That that scripture goes hand to hand with Isaiah 43, you know? And it's just like, like he said, shall it not spring forth? You know, it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? It says, I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Whatever you have been, oh my God, whatever you have been going through, your desert land, God will make rivers. You hear me? He is the rivers of living water. Like he will make rivers in the desert for you. When the finance is not coming through, he's still going to make a way. When people turn their backs on you, he's still going to make a way. When people talk about you, he's still going to um, vindicate you because he is the God that's in control. All you have to do is step into it. And I was talking to my spiritual mom about it. You know how when Jesus said it is finished, everything was finished on the cross. Your end, your beginning, it all was done on the cross. All you, your only job is to just walk into what God has already made for you, what God has already written. God has already written your love story. God has already written your, your finance increase. God has already written where you're going to be and where you're not going to be. All you have to do is get in alignment with God and walk into it. Because like I said a thousand times before, if his glory goes before us, we have to follow his glory for our story because it's his glory that's going to get us to our end destination. It's his glory that's going to take us and keep us and make sure we're not going on the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? Because he already has the, the end of where we're supposed to go. But even in the midst of when you do make a wrong choice and, and go the wrong way from time to time, he said all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord and who are called according to his purpose. So even when you mess up, it has to work together for your good if you love God. Even when you backslide, it has to work together for your good. 
good, if you love God, no matter what you do, it has to work together for the good of those who love the Lord because he said it and his word shall not return to him void. He is not a man that he should lie, neither is he the son of man that he has to repent. So at the end of the day, all you have to do is step into the new. God is, God is doing some miraculous things right now. I don't know if you've been through hell and hot water on your journey. I don't know if you have had a, a, a huge wave of just financial poverty, just not having enough, just, just losing everything. God is doing new. He's about to restore all of that. And then it says... If you, the, the verse right before verse 19, Isaiah 43, verse 19, if verse 18 says, remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of the old. Meaning, how are you going to be, how are you going to be looking back like Lot's wife when, when God is doing a new thing? How are you going to see what God is doing if you keep looking on what you lost? If you keep looking on where you once was, you know what I'm saying? You're not there no more. Woman of God, man of God, you're not in the back no more. He said you are the head and not the tail, so stop being the tail and be the head. Hallelujah.